Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Clarkson, you infantile pillock. <laughs> How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It is time for this month's Torben Tuesday. Update 20 for Foot 2004 is releasing next week and it's not yet been announced. However, as always, we have been given an image full of clues about what's going to be in that update. Very quickly, if you don't know what it is, the developers of Foot 2004 give us an image that purposely has clues as to what's in the new update and we have been given that update today and we're going to analyze it and try and solve the clues and I'll say straight off the bat there are a few confirmed cars thanks to these clues already very obvious what they're hinting at so yeah this month is quite a good Torben Tuesday because we can solve quite a lot of the update features already so let's have a look at what's going to be in update 20 supposedly so here is the image in question now once again this was given us to us from the developers themselves and it's full of clues and let's go through everything right now as usual we have the three monitors and um, the stuff on the desk the whiteboard and a few other little bits and bobs scattered about so what i'm going to start with i'm going to start with the whiteboard we're going to cover that then the monitors and then everything else so if we zoom in on the whiteboard here is what we have. Quite obviously in the top left hand corner it says 250 miles an hour, 186 miles an hour, 13 seconds. Now this is quite obviously hinting towards a car that can do 250 miles an hour, can do 186 miles an hour in 13 seconds. And I didn't even have to Google this, I knew in the top of my head that this is the McLaren Speedtail. These specs on the board in the top left are exactly what the McLaren Speedtail can do. It's a new McLaren that's not yet in the game. It was on the leaked car list. And to be honest with you, I didn't think we'd ever get this because it's not really, it's not really been made that much yet. We may very well be getting the McLaren Speedtail added to the game in update 20. There's no other reason that this would be on the board apart from maybe teasing us. So we might not get it, but... That's what the stats are for anyway. So the McLaren Speedtail could be something we see. If you don't believe me, Google it and you'll see that these stats match it perfectly. Anyway, on the board again, we've got three pieces of paper. Now, if we have a look at the pieces of paper, I can identify two of them. The third one, I'm not too sure. The one on the left is a screenshot of something you can find on Amazon. I'll put a picture of that on screen right now. It's kind of a a costume for a dog, a UPS costume to be specific, keep the UPS thing in mind. The middle screenshot is what seems to be a glimpse of a banner that we've already seen before. On screen right now, this image was released months ago for the, um, the Black Friday stuff, and at the bottom there was an advertisement for an express delivery. This is obviously a Horizon story that we've not received yet. And if you match it up perfectly, you can see that that is what's on the middle piece of paper. So the first piece of paper is hinting towards UPS costumes or UPS. And the middle one is hinting towards the express delivery. And if you look even more carefully at the bottom of the second picture, you can see the outline of a white van. This is also seen here in Forza Horizon 4 itself quite difficult to spot but once you've seen it it's obvious so the middle one is something to do with express delivery UPS is also delivery it's probably safe to say that we may be getting the express delivery new horizon story this week or next week completely honest I don't know what the third paper says it's a bit too blurry for that but we'll see above that we see the words pat one you may have heard of Postman Pat. If you Google Postman Pat, you'll see that Postman Pat's truck, his registration plate is Pat1. Now, what's Postman Pat? He's a postman. That's also very similar to delivery, to the UPS. So we've got three things on this board. We've got Postman Pat's number, which is a postman. We've got UPS, and we've got Express Delivery, the ad. I think it's pretty safe to say we're getting some kind of delivery-based, postman-based delivery service based New Horizon story next week, the express delivery. So it's good to know that that's finally coming. Now there's only a little bit left on the board. So far we've pretty much identified everything that's on the board, which is pretty good for a Torben Tuesday. But below that we have some text. And from the left, it seems to say car select in a box, load in a box, then pre-race solo and pre-race co-op. So, um, 
Not too sure what this means. Maybe this means that you now go into a race, select your car, load into it, and then you pick if you're solo or co-op. I don't really know. This could just be a red herring. It could be absolutely nothing. I'm not really going to make any guesses on that, but that seems to be what the text says. And then over to the right, we've got a little bit more text here, which says restore, restore A, failure, success, and then an arrow to completion. Not too sure what that means either, but take that as you wish. That's obviously what the text says, so if you can figure anything out with that, then pop it in the comments down below. That's everything that's on the whiteboard. Now to the stuff on the monitors. Now this gets pretty interesting. On the left-hand monitor, we've got what seems to be, or quite obviously, a GMC van. Now, a van is another thing towards the delivery, so I think the left-hand monitor is yet another hint towards this express delivery story we're going to be getting. The middle monitor seems to be, quite obviously, the Edinburgh Castle. Now, the doors still look closed by the looks of it, but they're kind of highlighted. So maybe they're hinting at maybe opening up Edinburgh Castle. Maybe you can get into it, do your Auto Vista or Forza Vista within the castle. That should be quite cool. I don't know. Again, it could be absolutely nothing, but maybe a tweak or two to the Edinburgh Castle house that you can get. Well, it's not a house, it's a castle. Mm. Over to the right, we have two pictures, both of which I know what they are. On the right-hand side, we've got a picture of the Toyota 2000 GT engine. I believe 1967 to 1971. Don't quote me on that, but something around there. Uh, we know now that we're getting a Toyota every month, I'd say it's pretty safe to say that this month or next week we're going to get the Toyota 2000 GT added to the game. That's going to be this month's Toyota. That's that image summed up. Now the left-hand image is seems to be an airport. Now lots of people are getting excited about this. Are we getting an airport or a bigger runway, runway in Forza Horizon 4? Finally, I'm here to say probably not. Now straight away, this is an in real life picture of a runway. It's not in Forza because you can see the real image here. Now we've managed to identify this runway and it's the Kennedy Space Center runway in Florida. Now, so what? You might be thinking, are we still getting a runway? No. There is a specific car that was tested here at the Kennedy Space Center and it was the McLaren Speedtail. We already know we're probably getting that from the other clue. So it seems to be that this runway is just another clue towards the McLaren Speedtail, as that's exactly where it was tested. I mean, that doesn't mean there's no chance of getting a runway in the future. I mean, there still is, but not in this update by the looks of it. This is just another clue towards the McLaren Speedtail. That's the three monitors. Now, there's a couple of other things left. One of them is quite interesting, actually. I'll do that last. <laughs> now, you may notice over on the left-hand wall, there used to be an image of an engine bay here, and it was there for ages. It was obviously wasn't a clue because it was there for months, but now it's changed to this. Now, people have managed to identify this as an Essex V6 engine. I've not managed to find the image on Google, but many people are saying that, so if they're correct, this is an image of an Essex V6 engine. And you may remember the leaked car list from not long ago, where it seems to be quite good so far, quite accurate. There are two cars on the leaked car list which have an Essex V6 engine, which is the Ford Escort Mark I from 1967 and the Ford Escort Mark II from 1977, kind of the racing versions of them. So unless they've just changed the image on their wall for the sake of it, because they want a bit of new decoration, this could be quite unlikely but could be a hint towards a v6 a new v6 car coming to the game we've had quite a few v6s recently so it would make sense so ford escort mark one and mark two from 67 and 77 possible they're the only cars that have that engine that are on the leaked car list which has been pretty accurate so far now the other hint which is pretty cool we may remember last month's torben tuesday below the right hand monitor was the was a bit of lego and we didn't think that this was a clue, but it turns out it was because last month we got the Lego Bugatti Chiron. And this month they've removed everything from that monitor and they've just put a AA battery. What could this mean? Batteries, battery powered cars, Teslas. Last month the clue did mean something that was below that monitor. So if it means something this week, it could very well mean that something battery 
battery related is happening this month as well now Tesla is still in the game files it's on the leaked car list in fact which again has been accurate so could this little double a battery just be a very small but obvious hint towards Tesla finally returning to Forza Horizon 4 we will have to wait and see until next week it could be another electric car it could be that new Porsche it could be there's plenty of other electric cars out there but it could be anything that does pretty much summarize it for this week now I'm quite happy with this month to be honest because quite a lot of it is obvious and solid there's not many things that are like oh, I don't know what that means it could be this it could be that it's, it's either this or it's nothing you know what I mean what about that for a Torben Tuesday that's a pretty good one and I'm not gonna waste your time I'm gonna leave it there you'll have to let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think we're correct about any of them if you think we're wrong if I mean I think we're pretty correct for most of these the only thing I will say is have a look at the text on the board, guys. I'll have it hopefully on screen again. Have a guess in the comment section below what this could be hinting at. It could be nothing, but it could be something. But anyway, lads, next Monday, which is just under a week from now, that's when we'll know if we're correct or incorrect about any of this stuff because it gets announced. Give a like if you've enjoyed. So if you have already, from the Foot Size and Cotton, I messed that up for once. I'll see you all later.